Welcome Cyclone Fanatics back here at Wilson Toyota. We're talking with Tron today. This is, you know, this is the segment everybody's, you know, I'm getting emails, Tron. It's, they're flooding me with text messages. They want you, they want more of Tron. Oh man, well I love you guys. I'm glad you want me because I want to be here. Last time, we, last time we talked it was a little bit of doom and gloom. We're a lot more happy today because we got the Big 12. Iowa State's still in the Big 12. Before we get into Tron here's comments on the Adrian Claiborne conversation, oh, yeah. Tron's got some interesting things to say about that. Listen, Fanatics, the truck, the Cyclone truck, it's still available. You know what, guys? I cannot believe this truck yeah. is still here. A Fanatic, come on. You know what? I enjoy driving. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I'll continue to drive this thing, but I'm right in the middle of building a new one. Yeah. Okay, one of a kind truck. We're right here, Wilson Cadillac Toyota Scion, 2212 South Duff Avenue, right here. You know what? Get on the highway, come on down, say, hey, I saw you on the Fanatic Network. Tell them. Somebody needs to buy this thing, all right? Because this company supported Iowa State athletics for decades, forever. And, you know, and they're they put money into this thing to make a great cyclone truck for, for somebody out there to buy. It's still here. It's got to go. It's one of a kind, people. Yeah. One of a kind. Nobody the, else will be You'd be driving. the only cyclone fanatic in the world driving this And thing. you can say, you know what? It's, it's mine. You can say it's yours. So stop by. You get a hold of Tron. If you want to, just email me. I'll give you Tron's number. We'll get it worked out. We'll get together. All right. Uh, Adrian Claiborne, Tron. Oh, wow. He's a defensive end for Iowa. Or he might be. A, I don't even know. He's I thought he plays line. soccer. Yeah. Is he a soccer player? No. Who, I, who is this guy? Wait, who, uh, uh, does he play for Ohio State? I think he – no. He's over in Eastern Iowa. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. That well, guy. whoever this guy is <laughs> that says there's only one program in the state are, – are you serious? He, I mean, come on. Give, are you really – are you serious? He was serious. You I know mean, what? Maybe he didn't mean that, though. I mean, I, you know what? Uh, maybe he didn't mean it, Chris. Maybe he meant no, – um, maybe he meant – uh, no, he was, he meant it. I'm just trying to get around. I understand. You know, you know, well, some people think that he didn't really mean what he said. Yeah, and I know what you're talking about, and <laughs> there's no other way to take it. Here's my deal. It's disrespect. You know, I like to consider myself a big guy, Chris. You are. Just you know? look at him. Yeah. Look at me. But I'm going to tell you this, fanatics. When I say something, I mean it. And he I'm not going to hide behind it. So if I said it, you know what? Just man up and say, you know what? That's what I meant. So... Initial reaction, Tron, when you when you woke up and you logged on to CycloneFanatic.com and you saw all the fanatics just going nuts, what was your initial reaction when you read this quote? What, what did you, what went through your mind? I'm gonna tell you what I first thought, buddy. You're gonna love this one. The first thing that came to my mind is my boy Ben Lamont. Come on, man. You know, I'm thinking about my offensive line just saying, you know, if that was me and I was on that line, I would be getting out my hot sauce and getting my good servings, and I would be getting my fork together and get ready to eat this guy alive. <laughs> you know what? This is Cyclone Country, period. That was my first. See, well, I'm fired up, man. I'm very unhappy about somebody saying something a lot of, like that. I think a lot of Cyclones are getting disrespected this offseason. Another one is Austin or not. You know what? I'm going to tell you something. I love Austin. You know, we talked about this before we got on – I'm going to tell you this, and I was explaining this to Chris, so I'm going to explain it to you fanatics, okay? This kid has played under three different programs, okay? Three different years, three different programs, three different playbooks, okay? We're not talking about small books. We're talking about phone books, different schemes. Listen, we have the best guy running our program. His name is Austin O'Rod. He's a great quarterback, and the guys that are behind him are great quarterbacks also. But he's our leader. We're going to stick behind him. And me as a Cyclone fanatic and you as a Cyclone fanatic, I'm offended when someone says that our leader isn't a leader. Well, yeah, and, you know, here's the deal. You saw what happened when Jerome Tiller came in last year. did a great job as a backup quarterback. Am I wrong? Took you on the road, won at Nebraska, something this program hadn't done in 30 years. That's great. Did a great job, but you could also see a huge drop off as far as knowledge of the playbook. And here's the intangible that Austin Arnaud brings to the table. You know, it's respect of his teammates. He's earned go. that. He's earned that. So is Jerome Tiller. He's doing all the things to do that. But right now, you know, Austin Arnaud, as far as, um, you know, just chemistry with the teammates, the intangibles, he's got it. Man. You know, I say this, man, and it's in anything you do, Fanatics, know your role. You know, there's certain things that I do. Me, I can't do what this guy does. He's too good at it. Now, I'm not saying I couldn't fill in for a little while, but I definitely couldn't replace him. Same thing in this situation. You know what? Austin is who he is. Can he be replaced? Yeah, when it's his time, but now is not the time. You know what? I love Jerome Tiller. I think he's a great backup. I think he's going to be a great quarterback for us. But right now, I think we all need to stand behind Austin and say, you know what? 
You know what? Who cares what, what these magazines say? Yeah, that's what I was going. That's where I was Who going cares? next. Because I'm reading all these, and, you know, I haven't seen Iowa State picked over fifth in the Big 12 North for this upcoming year. I, I have not seen one magazine pick Iowa State to go to a bowl game. In fact, Phil Steele, who I'm going to have the report on his, uh, his predictions coming up next week on the website. But Phil Steele actually he did a ranking of all the individual quarterbacks. He had Iowa's backup quarterback ranked ahead of Austin, which made – you know, where's his kid's seat? got some talent, but I mean, Where, where's his seat? What do you mean? Phil Stills, where's his seat in Jack Trice? Oh, yeah. How many games has he seen? Well, State my State thing for? is for you to make an uh, assumption like that or make an analogy like that, you that, must really watch these that, guys. To me, that's, here's, and here's the deal. This is what makes it so asinine is because he has Iowa's first and second string quarterbacks ranked ahead of Austin. But then as far as his quarterback units go, Iowa State's ranked like three ahead of Iowa. That makes no sense. There's no way you can explain that. That you know just what? shows that, you know, probably hasn't seen us. Well, he's life. a little corn fused is what I like to say. The guy's a little corn fused, but you know what? I think this is great. I am so glad I read these magazines. And you know what? They're just magazines. There's some guy sitting going, hey, you know what? This is what I think. This is what I think. And because everyone else is talking Texas and talking Iowa and talking this, I'm going to talk it too. Okay, it's just a magazine. I think it's great that they're looking at our, our, our great outstanding program and saying they're not this good, they're not that bad. You know what? Nobody expects us to do what we're going to do this year. But when we're done with it, we're going to sit here and say, we told you here first at Cyclone Fanatics. You're right. So that's Tron's thoughts on all things Cyclones. One more thing. we got to get your take on it here because the last time we talked, you are like, you know what, this Mountain West thing could work out. We'll go down the Mountain West. It didn't work out that way. Big 12, a souped up Big 12, a lot of people think. Iowa State's t schedule is going to get a lot tougher. What's your take on this one? I love it. Let me tell you why. Because, listen, our kids that play in our program, they play, they come to party, buddy. They come to party whether the party's in the pool or the party's outside on the patio. You know what? We're going to play as well as we're going to play. We're going to compete with Texas. You know, I think it's great we get to play them every year. You know, I think it's great that we're going to see Oklahoma every year. You know what? This is what I'll say. When I sit down and I talk to a kid and he says, hey, maybe I'm in Texas and I may want to go to Texas, why would you sit and wait to play at Texas? Kids, True. you can come right here to this great program with these great fans, and you can see your mom and dad every single year because we're going to play them we're, every single year. We're going to play four Texas schools every year. That's a guarantee. It's great. I love it. You know what? Yeah. I know you guys. I got some of you guys that got on me and said, hey, we don't want the Mountain West. My analogy last time was if we have to, this is what we should do. I am glad, I'm glad we didn't have to do Take that. Take it in stride. What I'm with it, man. You know what? I love all this. I think it's going to be great. I think it's a great opportunity for this program. My thing to you, Fanatics, and to all you Cyclone fans is, listen, be a part of the program, okay? You know, we got Jamie Pollard, and you got Joffrey. You got all these guys. You got Paul, and you got, you got the mayor in here. And they're doing all these great things to get all these students and get these programs running. Go out and support them. Don't just be on the message boards and saying, hey, you know, this is this and this is that. Go out there, sit next to me and Chris in the stands, and yell when it's raining and scream when it's thundering. I love it. I love it. And you know what? If you love it, too, come out to Wilson Toyota. we got to get rid of this truck. Let's people. sell it, man. We have to get rid of the truck. It cannot stay. And they got a lot of other great deals. You guys still got 0% going I tell you, on. you know what? We got zero all over the place. If you're looking for to purchase a vehicle, come down and talk to us. Me and my staff, if you want to come down and you want to talk Cyclone with me, you know what? If you want to talk Hawkeye with me, I wouldn't do it if I was you, we, but I'll talk to we've you. We've done that before. <laughs> Didn't go well, did it? A couple weeks ago, this Hawk fan came in, not kidding. I thought Tron was going to eat him for dinner. I was getting hungry, too. Yeah, but he, he was a pretty sane Hawk fan. He well, wasn't he, a bad one. He looked like a pork hawk. <laughs> or a chicken hawk or a pork chop or something like that. Come down to Wilson Toyota here, 2212 South Duff Avenue, 515-232-4081. Tell them Chris sent you. Tell them that I sent you. Tron, we'll see you here in a couple weeks, my man. Talking with Tron here today at CycloneFanatic.com. For Tron Smith, I'm Chris Williams.